Hi, my artist. Hi, I'm outside this time. So uh, there's a reason for that. I found something on the VAPA page where if you scroll down to where it says ideas at um, make art at home, you can go to uh, further down and it says Andy Goldsworthy. He's a British artist and it's found objects made uh, in nature. So I wanted to go on a hunt and see what I could find to make uh, art with all the nature stuff. So stuff like leaves and cones and sticks and rocks and whatever I can find. And maybe we can make patterns or something um, symmetrical or even asymmetrical. Uh, I might try to see, challenge myself to see if I can do both. All right, I hope you find things on your nature walk that you can do and then take a picture of it. And if you can, post it to me on Starry Rita, uh, at, on the facebook.com slash Starry Rita. Um, if you can't post, don't worry about it. Um, I just think this would be a nice way to get out and find art and everything. You know how I always say that. So um, I hope you're having a great day. I hope everybody's well, and uh, I'll see you later. Andy Goldsworthy was a British sculptor, photographer, and environmental artist. He started a land arts movement solely by the things he found in nature, with the principle and elements of design that you can see here. Okay, I have a few leaves, first of all, and then I'm outside, and we're gonna see what we can find. Not that I want you by any water by any means, but this is my children's clubhouse. So I'm going to explore. So here's what I found. Um, I didn't find as many rocks as I wanted, but um, we'll make do with what we have. So we started laying them out and making designs, symmetrical and even asymmetrical. Remember where it's not mirror image. So this one my daughter did. I really enjoyed my Andy Goldsworthy challenge. I hope you do too. And I'll tell you bye for now. See you next time.